Hi, here's another update and in this video I want to talk about the new fields that get response has added. GDPR fields. So if you're targeting people in the EU, you can set up GDPR fields. In this video I'm going to show you how you can add these fields. So maybe these are fields for consent. You want to seek consent for the various marketing that you do with your list. Maybe you want consent when they sign up, they give you consent to send them newsletters or they give you consent to send them marketing material. So I'm going to use the two examples and I'm going to show you how you can set up these fields on your form. So the first thing you're going to have to do, you'll have to go inside of your account. Just click on manage account. And once you get here, if you scroll down, you're going to see this option for GDPR fields so just click on it i already have one created here if you don't have one i'm going to show you how to create your first field so just click here on create a field and then you can give the field a name like for example let's say for this part you want to describe something like click here to read more about our privacy policy so let me just call this one privacy and then what should the field say? So here you'll describe what the field is about. And for this one, I want to confirm that they have read our terms and conditions. And of course, you if you want to add a link, you can add a link to your privacy policy. And I'm going to add the link on this one. And I want to add the link on this. So if I want to add the link on this, the first thing I want to do here is, let me just cut it. I'll cut it. And then I will click on link and paste in this and I will add the URL. Let me just copy the URL from here, copy and then paste in the URL and then OK. They will see this and there will be a checkbox for them to select that they, they have read the terms and conditions. I will create that. And this will be our first GDPR field. And then we can create a second one for consent. So this is maybe you want to ask for consent if you can send them marketing messages. So I'll click on create field. And then for this one, I'll just call it marketing. This is the internal name that will enable you to know what this field is about. So make sure you give it a name that is sensible to you, a name that you can recognize when you get to the form editor. So I'll just leave it at that and then say create. And then I want to create another one. And for this one, let's just say that you also send mail. So you also send postcards. So I'm going to create another one for postcards. So create a field and then we'll call it postcards. And copy, paste, create. Okay, so these are our fields. So when I go to my form editor, I'm going to see these fields and I can drag them into my form. The next thing I want to do is I want to go to my form. Just click here to go into form send surveys and that will bring you here. And here, let me create a form so that I can show you how you can add these fields on your, on your form. So I'll click on create form. So I'm going to select list builder and I will just select this example to use in this sample. All right, so there's our form. And if you look this side, if you scroll down, you're going to see all your GDPR fields are here. And you can just drag them in here if you want to add them. So for this one, let's make the form longer and then we can add our fields. And I will also drag this one down. Let me align it in the middle. And then let me drag in 
all my fields, all my GDPR fields. And then of course you want to tell people what these are and you can add some text here and if you just scroll down you're going to see these static elements and you can just drag in text there and you write your message that will let them know what this is all about so if I just click in there I can start typing So here you can add the message that you want to tell them based on your GDPR uh, consent request. So I want to change the font color of this and if I just click on it, I can go inside of style and then I will change the color to white. And I can also increase the font And I can reduce the width. And then I will align it with that. And this one also, I will align it. This one as well. Align it. This one also, align it. And for this, you can also make this full width. And then, so you see here there's not enough space, but you know how to edit this form. So you can just push these elements down. And of course you want to make these fields required so that people, you want to make some of these fields required so that people can select them. Like this one, you have to make this one required because they have to read the terms and conditions. So if I just click on this and then I come here under layout, I can change whether it's required or not. And I will select field is required. Of course, this one's you can't make this one's required because you're asking for the, for the consent. Okay, so just with this, you can assume that your form is ready and just make sure you edit it as nicely as you, as you need it to be edit it as much as you want to and then if you're ready to publish you can just come here and you'll click on save and publish so you can put this code anywhere on your website and I showed you how to do this in the section about forms in the section about forms how you can put this form on your website and or you can send it to your designer or you can just have it visible on get response and if we copy this link, copy, and then we can open this in incognito window. And then I will just paste in go. There you have it. That's how you can add the GDPR fields on your form. And you can see that you may need to change this. So if you need to edit any of these elements, just edit them the way I showed you in the section about forms. Make sure these are visible. All right. So that's it for this video. In this video, what I've shown you is how you can add the GDPR fields on your forms. In review, if you want to add the GDPR fields on your form, you're going to come into your account and then you go inside of manage account. And when you're there, You'll scroll all the way down to the section that says GDPR fields and then you can create your fields there and once you create them you have to add them on your form so when you add them on your form they will show up on the front end of your form and if you try to click you can see that this is a required field and this is a required field okay so that's it for this video if you have any questions about how to add GDPR fields feel free to let me know